draw the base for valid pattern in the architecture. To draw this pattern, you will need the base upper valid pattern. Please watch other video how to draw the base upper valid pattern in my channel. And it is the same whether you draw on the pattern papers or in the architecture. First, I add a point in the middle of front valid. It is the proportion 50 and 50. And after that, I cut it opens from the mid shoulder to the dot tip and then I create a new rectangle piece the length is 1 hit and width is hit R plus half inch for ease hold a guideline down and match it out with the front bodies now rotate the front piece until the button touch the rectangle edges this is one way to do it the another way to do it is to use the move down in the down tool but I like first way better. Now add a point on the rectangle piece, 3 over 4 and mark it green and press OK. Now use the draw tool to draw a line from the point that we just made to the point in the, on the arm hole. And then use the curl ruler to draw a curve from the point that we just made to the bottom of square. I change the distance to 2 over 8. The next thing I do is to use a tree segment to tree all the edge all the way around to get a new piece. When the edge touch the edge, you finish and get a new piece. After that, I delete the old pieces because I think I don't need it anymore. And then I change the names for the new piece. And we almost finished with the fun balance. The last thing we need to do is to draw the dark. Use the draw tool to draw a line 1 inch away from the bus point. After that, use the down tool to draw a new down left and right and the new point that we made. And for the diamond down, I don't remember how to use the down tool to draw it. So I use the drop tool to draw the diamond down. So if you know how to use the down tool to draw a diamond down, the draw tool to draw a straight line one inch away from the bus point. Just make sure the number in the box uh, at the right side is zero. And next, I pull a guideline from the left to the width part. And then I use the draw pen to draw a line from the last point we made to the width. Make sure it is straight line. And I continue draw a three inch straight line down. And after that, I draw a perpendicular line, 1 and 3 over 4 inches. And then I draw another line up to the waist and then to the bust point. And now we have two same lines because I want to make two down at the waist. This is my way to draw the down where I'll use the down tool. And I tried many times to use the down tool to draw a diamond down in the waist, but each time it doesn't work in. So I don't know how to draw the diamond down now because I forget. And now I use the draw tool to draw a straight line at the waist. The straight line is a quarter inch right and left sides together is like a half inch and do the same for the another down. After that, use the draw tool pen to connect them to connect all the points together to form a diamond down. As you can see, the shape it looks like a diamond. So, why uh, I call it um, people call it diamond down? And I change the name for the fun ballet. We finish with the front bodies piece pattern. And next, we are going to continue drawing the back bodies pattern. Here is my back bodies pattern. At a point in the arm holes at the proportion of 50. And check breeze and then OK. And then at another point at the waistline at the proportion of 50. I do the same thing as the front ballet, use the scissor to cut through the point that we just made. 
and then I create a new rectangle piece. The length is back hip deep, and the width is back hip up plus half inch for ease. And I pull a guideline down from the top to root, and I match them together as a guideline. The square top touches the body's bottom line. And let's add another point on the square edge. 3 over 4 it is like the point that we ate on the front bodice. After that, rotate the back bodice piece until the bottom edge touches the top square edge. When you finish rotate the piece, use the draw tool and the curl tool to draw a new line like the lines we did at the, in the, for the front bodice. After that, use the twist segment tool to twist the uh, edges, uh, the lines, uh, all the way around to get a new piece. As we learned before, when the S touch the another S, you finish with twisting the piece and get the new piece. I did the same thing. I moved the new piece and change it in name. And I also cut the old piece, I mean, I also delete the old piece Cause I think I don't need it anymore But if you think you need it, so just let it stay And don't delete it like I do The last thing we need to do is to draw the tool down on the back bodice Below the arm hole, add another point 1 inch away from it Perpendicular lines, it is 2 and 1 over 4. And after that, draw another perpendicular line to the waist and then to the guideline below the ankle that we made. Make sure it is straight line. Also, draw another straight line from the waist to the guideline. This is also the diamond down. I can't believe that I can trot like a 10 minutes without stopping <laughs> and my mouth is so dirty now and let's draw the width um, dance width on the waist lines the width for the um, uh, dime, this bad diamond dance is half inch which is 1 over 2 if two side parts together is 1 inch so the two diamond dance will be two inches width and I hope I'm not confusing you if you still not understanding what I am talking about just watch the video and you will understand it and then use the draw tool pen to draw the diamond dance connect all the points together and you finish with this diamond dance and also you finish with this um, bad ballet pattern here is the bad and fun bow ballet pattern add some tests to the pattern that you want and the things that you won't forget I always add the tests like on style what kind of this pattern is and the sizes and also the something how much I need to how uh, I mean how how many pieces I need to cut it. Sometimes it is on fold, it will cut one self. If it is not on fold, it will cut two self like that. And if you like my video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.